welcome everyone we're talking about women in the bible uh, today i want to highlight to us the woman of proverbs 31 now uh, people contend that it's probably not one woman because uh, she has all these amazing qualities that uh, um, you know everyone every woman would like to have and they wonder how is it that you know one can embody all these qualities so it's uh, unlikely that it was one uh, person Uh, but of course you know it's it's a picture that that we have of uh, a woman who we can learn from so we're going to look at proverbs 31 and um, see what we can take back from that so let me read a verse proverbs 31 and verse 25 it says strength and honor are her clothing she shall rejoice in time to come and uh, that is the stand that is the position of the proverbs 31 woman now why is it that she has um, strength and honor and uh, you know she rejoices in in the time to come as if she were really prepared for the things that uh, unfold whether good or bad uh, it's because of certain uh, qualities that she has imbi- imbibed you know over time so we can look at these qualities again you know some would attribute these qualities to a married woman uh uh only but you know there there is something that everyone can learn from the uh wo- proverbs 31 woman married or unmarried or even men could you know uh, look at these qualities and learn from her so what are these qualities one is we're told that she's a virtuous wife as uh, she is trusted by her husband so you know virtuous individual um uh, who has again you know who has gained the trust of people around her and that is is wonderful we see that she was skillful and diligent whatever it is that was handed to her she learned how to do it well and she learned to work hard at it so we see that she was a diligent person and not only that she was industrious she was able to think of things that she wanted and even make those uh, purchases you know because uh, she had prepared herself in that manner with foresight and forethought so she was an industrious uh, lady and we also see that she was caring and a good steward in the way she managed the activities of her household the way she managed the people who were helping her in those daily activities we find that she was somebody who thought about them she prepared food for them and you know she uh, she was a caring uh, individual then we see that she was somebody who was well prepared for all the activities um, that were a part of her life and you know, that is something that we can learn all of us can learn from her we find her to be a good manager of things around uh, and to the extent that she was not just uh, on survival mode but you know she was making a profit uh, because she had thought things through and she was shrewd and wise so she was a really good manager uh, even making a profit we see that uh, she was one who knew her worth and her value and this is so important for all of us and especially women to know our identity who we really are the way god has made us and more importantly you know for all of us as believers to know who we are in christ jesus so the proverbs 31 woman is the picture of a trustworthy diligent uh wise um and a committed individual which all of us can learn from so i just want to invite you to um study this this um uh, picture more and learn from it so let's just pray together heavenly father we thank you that your word is there to um equip us lord father to show us how we must live our lives and father we pray that the wisdom that we see in the life of uh, um uh, this proverbs 31 woman father god that we will be able to um lord uh, learn from those qualities and god uh, that we will truly be able to go up higher in you we we thank you once again in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.